What is up guys, Doc Redstone here with another Minecraft video tutorial for you guys. Now recently, I made a fancy uh, hidden piston store or hidden uh, chest storage system and uh, re did not realize that when I made it um, and compared it to uh, a pair of squirrels that his was completely flush with a wall. Um, his only housed one chest, but the wall could be infinitely tall and, uh, um, you know, hit it. And however, mine just used um, basically piston shutters and some cool animation. And uh, I, for some reason, didn't realize that until he pointed it out and I uh, rewatched the video. So that creation was pretty much pointless unless you like cool opening animation. However, this bad boy right here is uh, much more up to speed. Um, this is a completely hidden, as you can see, the wall is flat, very flat. There's nothing above, you know, like here I had uh, blocks last time. There's nothing there. Completely flat wall. Um, and if I go ahead and flick this lever, you can see that it does indeed house two chests like before. Um, and it does have, like, it's kind of like a walk-in closet. It has the two walk-in right here. Um, you know, and so I did not unfortunately make this have the pop down um, pop-ups because the underneath is actually so crazy with redstone and uh, I could make it from the top but I didn't know how many people actually like that so if you guys like that let me know and I'll come up with a uh, remix or retake on this um, where I show that pop-up and before I go to show you the redstone I just want to show you that this does close as you guys might be suspicious if I didn't show you Kapow. So this right here is the beast. Um, it's not actually as bad as it looks, but it does look pretty bad. <laughs> so um, these 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 are triple piston extenders. Um, basically, a hipster door is what this turned out to be. That's what I did with this. And so that's how this works: is it's a hipster door, and then I have these double piston extenders right here, just to save you uh, some redstone and pistons because it does use sticky pistons. Um, you could, if you don't like uh, this right here, put a solid back wall and actually put uh, extra pistons in these spaces right here. I uh, put pistons right here, and uh, put torch here, and uh, repeater here, and uh, piston here with a repeater. Um, as well if you'd like that and uh, you can kind of look at the redstone and figure that out but this is the design with only the necessary blocks so I've removed all unnecessary blocks and it's not too bad as you can see um, I'll kind of flick the switch and see if I can get you guys to see what's going on so as you can see when I flick the switch these two pistons extend which is enough just to push uh, those two blocks and then the double piston extenders flip on and as you can see this is what happens when uh, it uh, turns off. And no, it's not a flaw that uh, the pistons don't retract the block here because this is your floor right here. So it's not a flaw. It does indeed uh, mean to do that. Now it has come to my attention that some people do not like uh, my layer by layer tutorials. They'd rather see me build it. I'm um, just, I don't know. That's how it works. So I'm going to attempt to build this. And uh, you guys are going to have to forgive me. Uh, I'm sure this is going to take a couple takes. So let's get started. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, you're going to need a 7 by 10 area to work with. Then in the corner, you want to go ahead and uh, place a block right here, right here, and right here. Then you want to place a block right here. And on this block, you want to place a torch. Then you want to place some dust right there. And then you want to place a block right here, here, and here, just like that. Place a block here, 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 and then here, and here, and here, just like that. Then what you want to do is place a uh, repeater right there, repeater right there, and a repeater right there. Then all these repeaters need to be set to three ticks, except for this middle repeater right here, which needs to be set to four ticks. Then what you want to do is place some dust right there. You want to place a block right here. Place a repeater here and then a block right there with a torch right there. Then you want to place another block right there and you want to place a piece of dust. 
you want to place down three repeaters, like so, with the middle t repeater set to four ticks, three ticks, and three ticks, and then a block here at the end. Then on line with uh, this torch right here, you want to place a block there and a torch on the other side of it. Then you want to place dust here, dust here, and then you want to place a uh, block here to pull power out of it and set this one to three ticks. So then you'll have something like this. And then finally, you just want to place two sticky pistons right there. And uh, diagonally to those sticky pistons, you want to place a block. So you have something simply to look like this. All right, so now what we want to do next is we want to place a torch right here, diagonal to that one, and uh, upside down half slab on top of that torch like that. And then next to the front and the left, we want to place blocks, and then we want to place dust right there. We want to place a uh, repeater here, and we want to set that repeater to three ticks. And on top of that repeater, or in front of that repeater, we want to place a block. So then it's on top of that dust, just like that. Then we want to place a uh, repeater right there and set that repeater to three ticks like so. Then you want to place a block there and a block there. And then, whoops, remove this block. Then we want to place dust right here and uh, dust right there and uh, repeater here and here and set those both to four ticks. So then you have something that uh, starts to look like this. Then you want to place block here and block here, and then three blocks in front of those blocks, like that. Then you want to place a uh, sticky piston right here, and next to that sticky piston, once again, another upside down half slab. Then we want to place some dust on top of this block, and then we want to come over here, place a block right there and on top of that block a repeater and set the repeater to four ticks then we want to place block right here and come on here and here and here and then block here 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 and right there so we kind of have this repeater almost trapped in and to finish it up we want to go up 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 just like that. So then we have that repeater and then we want to place a torch on top of that end block right there. Alrighty, now to the next step. Now uh, just really quick, um, my memory failed me last time and this is actually isn't three ticks, this is one tick. So make sure that this uh, repeater right here that's to the right of this upside down half slab is definitely set to one tick, otherwise you're going to have some major problems. So now what you want to do is place a block on stop, top of that torch and on top of this you want to place some dust just like that. Then on this block you want to place a repeater. It needs to be on four ticks and it needs to be facing um, to the right. Then you want to place another block right here. This one also set to four ticks. And right here you also want to place another one and this one um, needs to be facing this way as well and needs to be set to four ticks like that. And then we can do this, this, and this. So then you kind of have this uh, repeater L. Um, you want to place two pistons right here as well. Oh, I'm going to sneeze a bit. Back. Okay, there we go. Oh, excuse me. And then what you want to go ahead and do is place some dust right there and then a repeater here. This repeater should be set to three ticks like that. Then you want to place dust right here and a repeater right there. That repeater should stay set to one tick. And then you want to place a block right there. And then you want to extend this uh, dust right there and place a block on top like that. And then place a uh, piece of dust right there. Place a repeater right here. Set it to two ticks. And we want to place a block right there. And on top of that block, we want to set a uh, redstone torch and it will power. And then what we want to do is next to that block, place a, another block, place some dust, and place a repeater. And leave the repeater's delay on default, just like that. 
and then we want to come over here place blocks here 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 and uh, we are going to need two more sticky pistons like that we're going to place another block right here diagonally and then dust 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 and uh, repeater repeater and these repeaters should be set to two ticks each so then we'll have something that looks like this and then finally we just want to place block here 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 and here and then here 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 and here so then overall you'll have something that looks like this alrighty and now next what you want to do is right here uh, next to this uh, dust and the upside down half slab place a torch and the torch should be powered then block 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 and then repeater 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 just like that then what you want to do is go up just like that and go over just like this and like this place two uh, torches right there and yes it will cause a effect like that then we want to place a piece of dust and a repeater this repeater's delay stays to default and then place a block on top of that dust and go over one two three four with some dust and then go two repeaters right here then you want to place two sticky pistons facing you like that and uh, load them with their blocks so then you'll have something that looks like this all right and finally to finish off the piston hipston door um, setup what you're going to need to do is place two blocks um, on top of these redstone torches like so and uh, two blocks right here now this is going to be your floor and uh, you want to place a block on top of uh, this sticky piston right here now what uh, I forgot is that my memory has failed me um, yet again in this tutorial and uh, all three of these repeaters right here um, that are placed in the first step should be set to three ticks and I told you this middle repeater um, between these two repeaters should be set to four ticks it should be three ticks so make sure you change that to three ticks and uh, then you can go ahead and place a block there and a lever on top and go ahead and flip it and as you can see it extends obviously like I said here's your floor so you can't see it and if you go ahead and flip it again you'll see it uh, goes ahead and retracts just like that so if you want to just end here this is where you would end if you don't want those double piston extenders coming out from the back and uh, if you do want the double piston extenders coming out from the back then uh, continue to follow this tutorial okay so on that last uh, if you're continuing then it means you want those double piston extenders so we're going to keep modifying this layer so we're going to place a block right there and we're going to end up removing that and then what we want to do is on the back of this we want to place a torch and on top of that torch we want to place a block like that and then where we place this block we want to go one two and then we want to break, break the block in the center so then you'll have something like that alright so now what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to the back over here and you're going to place a torch right there and it will end up turning off then you want to place a block here and a block right here on this block right here you want to place some redstone dust and then in front of that dust you want to place another block like that then what you want to do is place your two pistons just like that and then in front of those pistons you want to or to the left you want to place a uh, slab just like that then what we want to do is place a powered rail right here place a block right here and another slab right there and we want to go to the back over here and place ooh, place a diagonal block like that and once again another uh, double piston just like that and then we want to come over here one last time and place a block there block there just like that we'll leave this block here in the center and we want to place dust right there so then we'll end up having something like this on this layer okay so next on this layer what you want to do is place a block here and a block here break, break that block right there and place a powered rail right there so you have a powered rail there then you want to place repeater here or a piston here piston here 
piston here, here, and then you can go ahead and place your two blocks right there. Then what you want to do is place a block here, and a block here, block here, and block here, and then a block right there, block right there, and a block right there. So you'll have that. Then here, you want to place a repeater, set it to five ticks, repeater right there, set it to two ticks. Right here, repeater on five ticks, right here, repeater on two ticks. Then you want to place dust here and here, dust here and here, dust right there, dust right there, and then a block next to the dust like that, and another block next to the dust, just like that. Then you want to place a block here and a block here. Now these two blocks, that uh, I just placed are going to be part of your wall and uh, will definitely be visible. Um, so I put them purple blocks instead of iron blocks just so you know they're part of the circuit, but they can be whatever blocks you want as long as they're not transparent. So then we can go ahead and finish up our wall. So we'll have something like this, very simple. And then we want to take our chest right there and there, right there and right there. And then I have finished off the floor. And then what we want to do is place a block right here and a block or a uh, lever right there. If I flick it, you can see it extends. The uh, pistons are completely hidden. You can have this wall uh, as tall as you want, you know. So it can be like that. And then I go ahead and flick the lever again. And as you can see, it will retract everything and you can see the chest. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and you found it somewhat helpful. Um, so yeah, this is the design. Now for one of these circuits right here, um, despite the fact that it looks large um, and pretty complex, um, it actually is surprisingly redstone light. Um, this circuit just right here requires two powered rails, 17 sticky pistons, that might be somewhat annoying because um, that's actually an extra 17 redstone dust and iron. Uh, 186 non-specific blocks, so just any block. It will require four sla half sl upside down half slabs. Um, it only requires 39 redstone wire, 11 redstone torches, and 33 repeaters. So it's pretty light. And actually to extend this is only going to cost an extra one, two, three, four, five. Uh, six. It costs an extra three dust and uh, three repeaters per extension. Uh, actually, it'll cost double that. So it costs six dust, six repeaters per extension um, to uh, make this longer. So it's actually surprisingly resource friendly. I've been working on compacting this for a bit just because um, I, the, I had a design that was huge compared to this and uh, just required so much redstone dust it wasn't even possible in survival uh, but this is definitely possible in survival so I hope you guys like this tutorial like always this has been Doc Redstone please rate, comment, subscribe thanks everybody, peace out